are back at Butler's Orchard, so we are going to go for apple picking and also tomatoes. They have cherry tomatoes and regular ones, so regular sizes it's going to be. And then we paid $17 for this bag. This was the small bag. They had also a bigger bag too. They had a bigger um, pack, you know, whatever it's called, the bag or whatever for tomatoes, but we got the small size. And then you pay four dollars per person to enter the farm and let's go Problem is the ones that are ready to go are rotten. Either they're not ready or the ready ones are rotten. What the heck? That's, that's not good. Nope. We will find a few good ones. What is going on here? Look. Why is it like this? All of them are like this. Oh my, oh my god, look how big this one is. Even the Holy fuck, fuck. Okay, I'm getting this one. Oh my god. Oh my god, look. Look how big it is. <laughs> this is like this is like a mother of tomatoes. So big. Oh, you know what we could make? We could cut them. We used to have a neighbor. Hold on. Let me turn the camera around. Hi. So we used to have a neighbor um and she used to go to the farm and get tomatoes and then cut them and use breadcrumbs and stuff and fry them as brunch or breakfast maybe we can do that come on she's too busy picking tomatoes a lot of them are kind of rotten it's not good all right let's see what we do i will be back This one, guys. Oh my god, look how big it is. This is like equivalent to like two, three tomatoes. So, the small bag we get, we got, I don't know how many tomatoes, but this is how much we got. So, the next stop it's apples. Let's go. Pick them. What do you call them? Um, oh, look at all the pumpkins. 
So we used to go stay in line and they would actually, they would bring us here to pick apple. It was super, super fun, but now I think this year they just have you drive. If it was my choice, um, I would have chosen the plastic bag. I think uh, this is the only no, apple. We should check the other side too, see if we have other kinds. Look how red the top part is. But look at these, look how red they are.
found a nice big tree with shade oh my god look I tan in like five minutes you see it local to pine there I tan to do is we are going to make guacamole so I'm pretty sure you know how to make it but this is how we make it I actually like guacamole with white onions but we were out of white onions so we're gonna use uh, the red ones whatever we have um, and I also like the lemon instead of lime but we have lime so we're gonna make this work so let's go make some guacamole my um, cooking style. <laughs> I'm not a cook, so I don't like a lot of onions in my guacamole, so I'm not going to I already had a little bit of a um, avocado there, but I think that um, one was not enough. So there's one. I'm saving these seeds because I was told that if you 
leave the seed in the guac, it won't go bad or turn, you know, black. So we save, so we save one seed. When it's ready, we just stick it in the middle. So we got the avocados, onions, we add the, I mean, avocado tomatoes, we add the onions and the garlic. trying to figure out what the name of this is in in farsi my fellow iranians know this <laughs> we call it gushku okay but i don't eat meat so uh, there's no smashing meat with this we always use it for making guac or smashing vegetables and other things we, i don't eat meat so we don't i don't know what you call it i don't i mean it's still called gushku so i tried to figure out what it's called and i googled let me calm down because I think my mom is all the way here. I tried to Google what it means in English and it said toilet plunger. This is not a toilet plunger. It, it's a it's kushku. <laughs> smasher? I don't know. We call it smasher. So you can have one of these or uh, you can, I don't know, wash your um, cup or glass or whatever. Wash it good and use the bottom of that to smash or whatever else that you have that you could use to smash this pretty good one of the avocados was ripe the other one was not not so this is gonna take a lot of muscle see you in three hours <laughs> i'm just kidding my guacamole is ready i'm gonna put this seed in there so I've been told that leaving the seed, um, it will help avocado not to change color. I've been doing it for years. I think it's a pretty good hack. You can have it with um, crackers. You can have it as a dip or uh, spread it on a bread instead of using a mayo. And this is going to be our little snack of the evening. Hope you enjoyed this video today. If you enjoy our videos, what we uh, upload every week, every Saturday with mom, please subscribe and like them, comment, uh, let us know what you would like to see in the videos. Um, so yeah, we appreciate you watching and hopefully see you next Saturday. Bye.